we're going to be talking about tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. And they're basically common complaints that, that we see in clinical practice very often uh, due to the fact that people are active uh, playing sport. But it, even though the name suggests that it's caused by golf or tennis, in fact, it actually really isn't. Um, the condition uh, on either side, golfer's elbow affects the medial side of the elbow and tennis elbow affects the lateral side of the elbow. So we have lateral epicondylitis or medial epicondylitis are other terms that, that you may have heard for, for these conditions. So I'm going to demonstrate the exercises I was talking about using a, a golf club. You could use a tennis racket, you could even use a, a broom or a mop handle, something that you have at home. All right, so we're gonna keep the forearm stabilized, so elbow bent at about 60, 70 degrees. Forearm resting on the, on the bed or on a, a tabletop. And literally just rotating through, holding at the end of range, nice and slow and controlled with the movement as we go. Forearms in the same position, stabilized on the table, and we're simply moving up and down into wrist flexion extension, and then turning over, again, through full range wrist extension and flexion. And in this position, we're working the wrist extensors. If you can perform these exercises to keep the muscles strengthened and perform the stretches to maintain the flexibility, then it's going to very much reduce your risk of developing these painful conditions.